Jim, would you like to answer the question of what your career would have been like without me? I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Coralie and Laurel in Montana State University and ended up working in the same laboratory I did. We would go out to Yellowstone National Park and collect samples and my job was to prepare the glassware and some of the experiments for collecting samples. One evening I looked into one of our reaction vessels and saw something I had never seen before or was aware of it being published in terms of a microorganism from a thermal spring growing at a high temperature of 60 to 70 degrees Celsius in an acid environment. And there it was growing just using sulfur as an energy source. Those trips to Yellowstone National Park were sometimes overnight trips. And so it was probably inevitable that he and I would eventually get married. Coralie and I took a drive one evening in a little oh, Chevrolet Corvair that I had at the time and went down to by the Gallatin River to a camping area called Moose Flat. And there the proposal was made and accepted. <laughs> He was going to go off to take his first job as an assistant professor at New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology. So we got married December of 1965 and moved to Socorro. And what I did was study the microorganism that Jim had found in the um, Yellowstone Hot Spring. So in 1973, he and I co-published our first paper together on this particular microorganism. The microorganism is called Acidianus. Briarly eye. I thought it was absolutely fantastic that Jim would have a microorganism named after him. He now had billions of progeny that he could call his own. Coralie had formed a venture capital funded startup company, so I joined her as research director. Newmont Mining Corporation came along. With Newmont, I was chief microbiologist for process development with biotechnology. In 1992, I started Briarly Consultancy LLC. Mining companies were looking at applying biotechnology for the treatment of copper sulfide minerals. Many of these projects were located in Chile, of course, which is a huge producer of the global copper. It's important to note that in 1994, there was hardly any copper that was being produced using biotechnology. Uh, and today, 20% of the world's copper is now produced using microorganisms. Coralie is an excellent leader and communicator. I have a little bit of problem with shyness, and she makes up for that. Uh, she helps me personally in my development and career pursuits by being a fantastic editor of my writing. Jim is the ultimate scientist and technical person. He's been a great supporter of my career. I was very reticent when I was young. It was very difficult for me to even travel alone or to go someplace and do something and he would just sort of push me out the door and say you can do this go out there and just do it. Sharing the award of merit with Coralie really pleases me. So much we do is done together. We've never been co-awarded anything. To be co-awarded this I think is just the pinnacle of our career. Mm -hmm.